In the heart of the sprawling savanna, in the village of Insangi, there lived a young man named Chikondi, whose heart was as vast as the plains and whose dreams were as high as the eagles in the sky. Chikondi hailed from a humble family, his parents being custodians of the earth, tilling the land for their daily bread. In the same village lived a maiden named Malaika, whose beauty was spoken of in neighboring lands. Malaika, whose name meant angel, was the daughter of the village chieftain, a man of considerable wealth and influence, and his wise and compassionate wife. Despite the prosperity that surrounded her, Malaika's spirit was gentle and kind, her heart unspoiled by the luxuries of life. Chikondi and Malaika's paths crossed during the season of harvest, and it wasn't long before they fell deeply in love. Their love was a river that knew no bounds, flowing through the plains, nourishing the land with its strength. However, Malaika's parents were skeptical about this union. They were worried that Chikondi, with his modest background, could not provide the life they envisioned for their beloved daughter. Determined not to let his origins define his worth, Chikondi embarked on a quest not only to win Malaika's heart, but to also gain the approval of her parents. He demonstrated his valor by protecting the village from marauding lions, his wisdom by resolving disputes among villagers, and his generosity by sharing his harvest with those in need. In time, Malaika's parents saw the depth of his character and his unwavering love for their daughter, and they came to accept him as worthy of her hand. But fate, as always, had its trials in store. Chikondi, like many young men of the village, was a warrior in the village's defense force. When whispers of an impending war with a neighboring tribe reached their ears, Chikondi was among those called to safeguard their lands and traditions. The week before his departure, under the shade of a baobab tree, Chikondi took Malaika's hand, offering her a ring fashioned from the wood of the sacred tree. He asked her, Will you marry me? With tears glistening in her eyes, Malaika accepted, binding their souls in a promise of eternal love. But tragedy struck shortly after Chi Kondi's departure. Malaika was involved in a severe accident, a violent clash with a runaway bull cart that left her with grievous injuries. Upon wakening in the healer's hut, Malaika saw the despair in her parents' eyes and felt the weight of an unspeakable sorrow. The accident had taken a toll on her once radiant beauty, leaving her visage marred by scars, a stark reminder of that fateful day. Gazing upon her reflection, Malaika mourned the loss of the person she once was, declaring herself a creature transformed by misfortune. In her heart, Malaika made the painful decision to cut ties that bound her to Chikondi, believing that he would no longer desire her as his bride. Despite his numerous letters, sent with travelers and traders across vast distances, she remained silent. His voice, once a source of joy, became a ghost she dared not entertain. A year passed, and the winds of fate brought the victorious Chikondi back to the village, his heart yearning for Malaika. Upon his return, Malaika's mother, bearing the wisdom of the ancestors, visited her daughter with news that stirred the embers of a long suppressed love. She told Malaika that Chikondi returned from the war. Malaika shouted, No! Please don't tell him about me. Don't tell him I'm here. But her mother reassured her, by presenting Malaika with an invitation that spoke of a union to come. The girl's heart sank. Malaika knew she still loved him, but she had to forget him now. With trembling hands, Malaika beheld the invitation, only to discover her own name etched upon it. Confusion clouded her mind until the moment Chikondi himself stepped into the hut. His presence as commanding as the sun's Holding a bouquet of wild flowers, he sat beside her, his eyes filled with unwavering devotion. 
Will you marry me? He asked. His voice a gentle caress against the tumult of her thoughts. Malaika, overcome with emotion, hid her face, whispering through tears. I am no longer the beauty you remember. With a smile that could light the darkest night, Chi Kondi replied, Your mother, with the wisdom of our ancestors, sent me a message, not through letters, but through the very air we breathe, the spirit of our land. In your eyes, I see the same Malaika, the angel who captured my heart. Remember one thing till the end of your life, Malaika. I didn't marry you for your outer beauty. I married you because of your wonderful heart. And so, under the ancient Bobab tree, where promises were made and destinies entwined, Chikon D and Malaika were wed, their hearts beating as one with the rhythm of the land. The village rejoiced their song a melody that echoed through the savannah, a hymn of love's everlasting power. Their story, woven into the fabric of the village's history, became a legend told under the stars, a tale of love's triumph over adversity. Chikon D and Malaika's union was celebrated not only as a joining of two souls, but as a testament to the belief that love in its truest form, transcends any worldly difficulty. To this day, their tale is passed down through generations, a reminder that true beauty lies within, and that love, nurtured by the soul's unwavering commitment, is the greatest treasure of all. If you don't want to miss the most exciting African folk tales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time.